So, during my childhood, I have seen quite a few cartoons where the cartoon characters do something, I wouldn't necessarily say magical, but do something that doesn't really obey the laws of physics. Then, in my mind, sometimes I wonder, wait, can the cartoon characters actually do those types of magical things? Or is it just the animators that make simple mistakes? There are so many cartoons I have seen throughout the years where they do something that just doesn't make any sense, but then you realize it's actually the animators or the scriptwriters that you know, make simple mistakes. Then it just kind of ruins the illusion of the show or the cartoons or something like that. So let's just say I am a simple cartoon character and I happen to be running away from something and I happen to be standing on top of a cliff or something and let's just say while I'm running away from something I'm not paying attention to where I'm going and instead of falling off the cliff I'm walking on air and the only time when I'm gonna fall is when I look down. Okay, so let's genuinely start this video with a common cartoon logic, like this one. What kind of science is this? I have seen, okay, not that many, but I have seen quite a few cartoon characters that don't even have fingers, but no, just just their hands, or I wouldn't exactly say hands, but you know, like this part of her arm, or any cartoon character's arm, always somehow manages to grab something or pick something up, even though their hands don't even have fingers. That that I'm just gonna pretend that makes sense. Make it all day, yet wearing clothes at the beach. I don't even see what the heck is the point of wearing clothes at the beach and you know, getting the clothes all wet if these cartoon characters can just walk around naked. Wait, hang on a second. Tom is a cat. Cats don't really like water. Even though most cats like to drink water, they just don't like to swim. Am I the only one who just realizes, or just realized, that Tom is going to the beach? Tom the cat. Cats don't like water. What are SpongeBob's sleeves attached to? You know, even I don't know. I have watched SpongeBob SquarePants for a very long time. And even though I know that his sleeves is just a part of his clothing or whatever, I'm just so confused about like why his arms are like moving up and down but his sleeves are magically attached to his body or something. This is a very weird spatula. So did they have hair or not? That is a very good question. Unfortunately, no one knows the answer because there are so many episodes where um, Bart or Lisa changes their hairstyle or something like that, but at the same time, their hair is like technically part of their heads. The weird part is that I have seen an episode where something hits Lisa against the head, but then she mentions that it's mostly hair at this part of her head. So this is literally one of those mysteries that even scientists can't answer, you know? Underwater fire. How magical is that? <laughs> that? Let's just all pretend that makes sense. You know what makes even less sense on SpongeBob SquarePants? Lagoon Lagoon, or however you would pronounce the name of that beach. There is literally a beach made out of water underneath or inside the water that SpongeBob is in. You know, isn't, isn't that... Is no one going to question that? Okay, so look at this picture right here. What do you see? Sandy Cheeks whistling, right? She's, she's just whistling. But she has a glass ball around her head. How, how does that make any sense? Why aren't the animators paying so much attention to uh, avoiding dumb cartoon logic? 
Also, here's another thing I don't understand. I've noticed that normally when you swim underneath water, you can't really hear anything. So even if Sandy like put her hand inside her suit and she whistles with her hand inside the glass, the fishes wouldn't really hear anything because the water basically stops her from whistling either way. So what is this? I, I just don't understand anymore. You know what's another thing? I do not understand about Spongebob Squarepants. Why can't the fishes or any of the characters on the show swim? Because like they're underwater and as we all know fishes can swim obviously. So how come we've never seen an episode where the fishes no, float around underwater because they're underwater and they should be able to swim. Basically what I'm saying is the fish characters in Spongebob should be able to swim, you know? That, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Are we just going to ignore that type of logic? Sandwich eat sandwich. Donut eat donut. Potato eat potato. Um... Is that... does that count as cannibalism? You know what, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore that for a moment, I'm just gonna move on to some other memes. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this meme. See here, Buttercup has no fingers. She puts a glove on and she also has fingers. Is someone gonna explain that? So basically, she just puts a glove on and she also grows fingers. That's kind of dumb. How does his glasses stay on without nose or ear support? That's just so dumb. He doesn't have a nose or any, like, an ear to hold on to the glasses. Okay, I've never seen this cartoon character on TV before, so I'm not really, you know, familiar with all cartoon shows. But if this was real life, his glasses would literally just, just fall right off, because it's not even a head, his head is just um, a weird circle or something like that. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm planning on like making a part 2 of this video. There might be some cartoon memes that I didn't take a good look at in this video or maybe some I missed, but I'm planning on making a part 2 of this video. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, turn on notification, give a like and uh, make sure you go check out some of my other videos. That would be greatly appreciated if you did all that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. So see ya.